Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. You absolutely must keep your word. Even though she's like, have you ever heard of a probably. white lie? He snuck out at night. Snuck out? Date? Uh oh. Now we know. Renju may or may not be dead. That's nice. I received a Nile message from Mizuki last night. Teacher, oh. can you please help me? Mizuki. Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. Hmm. Is there something wrong? Hmm. No. Exactly. Yeah, what about Iris, though? We still have to go to Marble, though, so let's go there. Enough of that. Back to the video. Maybe Renju is here. Who knows? 50 50. Maybe he might not be. Well, well, nope. if it isn't Dante. He isn't here. Oh, well. Long time no see. Is something wrong? Playing through no, the game yourself is definitely. Yeah, talk. it is very interesting, Midori. It is. Uh, how far are you in? About if you don't mind me Ren's ex. Ren meaning. You're as sharp as ever. I saw it all on the news. How awful. Uh, about Shoko. I have something, but I don't know how useful it will be. No, tell me. You know how Shoko was a representative of that investment company? Ah, yes, the yeah. one that um they ran were with part of a massive fraud scheme. Oh yeah, the fraud scheme really? with the yakuza and everything. That's right, and they were in bed with the Kumakuras, the yakuza gang. Yep. So um, maybe Kumakuras killed her. Maybe. I don't know for sure, but they were capable of it. Uh, maybe Shoko did something to piss off the wrong people, and they punished her for it. Where is Renju? It's been a while. I have no idea. What's wrong with Ren? Ah, the accident that he got got into on the freaking highway. Oh no, really? Yeah. I see. I'll contact you if I get anything. Please do. Uh, have you been? I've been okay. How are you, Date, honey? Pretty shagger. See you what did you do? Here much anymore. What was your stream again today? I've been busy. You used to come all the time. Ah, you enjoy JRPGs. Grumbling over your glasses of bourbon. Might be, uh... Drowning each other's sorrows. But, um, Sometimes it's, getting into it's, it's arguments. It's in the itinerary. One time it even became a real fight. You remember that? Oh, gee. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. Gonna watch my stream ten today? Yeah, that's great. Thank, thank you so much for sticking around and watching me bumble that through whatever this story is. Ever seen Ren that mad. That's Personal opinions, so well. but like, what is your favorite Final Fantasy game? Uh, about Renju's watch. Yeah, his favorite watch. He got it from his new lover. His new lover? <gasps> An anniversary gift. Oh, this was of course after the divorce. <laughs> Ren was so happy. He showed it off to me. He's had that watch on him ever since. Yeah, I know, right? He's so is real shady. Give me a glass of water. Mm, that's unusual. Not a bourbon. I'm working. I drink at work all the time. That's because you work here, you... <laughs> we have very different occupations. It's kind of the same. I make people throw up. You make people throw up the truth. <sighs> mm. This is a bar called Marble and an alley called Golden Yokocho. She runs the place. We all call her mama. She might technically have the body of a man, but she's got a maiden's heart. Oh. She belongs to a lot of pro LGBT groups, and they're like, ah, yes, we're politi politically correct here. Spends her time running the bar, but she's also full of secrets and confidential information. Drunk people tend not to be too careful with secrets and rumors, you know how it is. So a place like this is perfect for getting information. Whether it's politics, business, entertainment, even crime, Mama knows it all. Summarize for me. Shoko was involved in illegal activities. Okay. Perhaps the rental phone was used for that purpose. Okay. The Kumakuras, they have a relationship with Renju. I remember him telling me that. Do you want to pay them a visit? Yeah. Ah, yeah, so going back to the Yakuza place. You're going to the Kumakura office, of course. Who's this asshole? Ah, yes, it's you guys he again. You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Alright. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate <laughs> dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! Wow, that was fast. Again. <laughs> Gun. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? Okay, so let's see where this branch of the, uh... Let's see where this version of the uh, Yakuza story takes us. I think this is the part where we still encounter Sosejima again anyway. I think. So, you wanna explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? 
I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. Two days ago at Bloom Park, a woman's corpse was found. Have you heard the name Shoko Nidami? Sure have. How? Heard it on the news. The media is making a real fuss about this new serial killer. Can't help but hear about it. But I think, I, yeah, Iba is an interesting character to have. Don't know nothing about her. Oh crap. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Fine. Investment fraud? I have no idea what you're talking about, cop. You must have gotten some bad info. Fine. Did the Kumakura kill her? Fuck no. Why would we do that? Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? Chairman is right in front of you. What? Uh-oh. <laughs> I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Yeah, his elder brother. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners? Oh. Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. <coughs> Pushed. <coughs> Suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago? Date, look at this. A thermograph from when you inquired about Shoko. He's lying! Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. It appears that way. How do I get him to cop to it? Remove his fingernails one by one. Ah. Not my style. That's a Yakuza method. Blackmail him? Blackmail? Find his weakness and threaten him with it. <laughs> Let's examine the room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Yeah, then maybe Sosajiba is hiding in this door. <laughs> if I make a wish, will it come true? That is not Shenron. <laughs> Uh, Dragon Ball Z jokes. Uh, wonderful. You watch. You're a nerd. Ooh, what's behind here? Gasp! There's a hidden safe behind the crest. I knew this from the last time we came here in the previous branch, but damn! Yeah. Hey, say, you bet. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's the same figurine that freaking Ota has. It's just like the one I saw at Matsushita Diner. Ta da! Figure. Correct. But why is that there? <laughs> Unknown, but perhaps. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Aced, would you? Yes. What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? Oh yeah, wonderful. We're gonna get shot at again, are we? Toughest bricks and hard as nails. I punched you twice. <gasps> You're sitting on a couch, bent over, and uh, you know. Never be in a pussy shit like that, you fucker. Shrine, Shinto shrine, another dragon. I wish for panties. I told you, that's not Shenron. Well, I mean, I guess. The Kumakura Crest. Uh, ooh. Chapman's phone. Iba, can you hack it? I cannot. The power is <coughs> out. Excuse me. Uh, the chairman's chair. <laughs> Shadows. Threat! A uh, silhouette! Aset! Uh-oh. <laughs> Water. Wet! Uh, sweat! Aset! Aset, you bet! Fears. I'm done. Upset? Uh, regret? Aset! I'm done. Just as I thought. <laughs> Boss? What's this? <laughs> Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! <laughs> Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yes, sir! I mean, we found that out in the other branch, but... You know, but, you know, it's. I, I guess this is the more fun one to, The more fun way to discover I've that he's an Aset fan. Now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I guess even in video game land, nobody is really immune to the charms of an 18-year-old schoolgirl who just happens to plaster herself all throughout, all over the internet. How about the, how about your alibi? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. You know what I just realized? I we have... were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They okay. were also seen on several surveillance cameras. Yeah, I know, it I've heard this before. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras included. Yeah, I know, this is a line that was covered in the previous time I came to visit the, um, the, the Yakuza office. What about Rohan? Rohan was my older brother. And I said this- He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. And I'll say this again, they look nothing alike. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah. After breaking out of the hospital. Why did he break out of the hospital? About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. Okay. 
At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. Oh, so that's why he has a scar on the side of his head, huh? fucked on the right side ever since. The doctors say he can still see, but it doesn't register. Oh. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. Oh. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question for MoMA. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Okay, was your brother left-handed? Yeah, he was. Rohan yeah. must suffer from hemispatial But there are, there right is side. a cure for it already. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. Along with other things. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. Which controls the right side of your body. In roughly one third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. The right Mona part of your brain controls the left side of your body. Was left -handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Hmm. Rohan suffered a beating on the left side of his head. Which means he would have... That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. Yeah, but see, if he was... If he, he, if he had an injury on the left side of his brain, that means... Well, I guess I'm looking into this too medically, but like... It would have impaired function on the right side of his body, so... I guess he couldn't have continued functioning somewhere? Somehow? I don't know. I had no idea you were a NetIdle fan. How did you know? You're hiding an ASET figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, about Rohan some more. Anyway... After getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. Hmm, I figured. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. From the toe to the thigh. Jeez Louise. Toe with a blank expression, like he was scraping bonito flakes. Anyway. Sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? Wow. He started climbing the ranks, and eventually, he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. Wow. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang, and that's how we became the Kumakuras. Uh, when was Rohan hospitalized, though? About six years ago. I remember him telling me about something big. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway, his plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. Interesting. But whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He threw himself off a hotel. He ended up shooting some guy in Ooh. his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know? His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. I got suspicions about this. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. A mental hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. I got suspicions about Rohan, because I remember that one case of the Cyclops serial killers being six years ago, roughly around the same time that Date also experienced his retrograde amnesia. Did something happen between right. those people? We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. The company that commits fraud. No comment. Oh boy. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. You know, you also know Renju Okiura, right? No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. Tell him about Renju's accident and his disappearance from the hospital. Do you know where he is? Oh. Nope, sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. I detect no abnormalities in his thermograph. I mean, why would they know, right? Looks like he's not lying. Uh, anything else? <laughs> but, um... Hey, Moma. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <laughs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. I'm gonna blackmail you with the fact that you have... I'll let you meet ASAP. A statuette of an 18-year-old in your safe. I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. Gasp! We're acquaintances now. Really? Gasp! Yeah. <laughs> you promise? His face. Yeah, I promise. His face. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, so. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It 
was still worth it just to find out MoMA is an ASAT fan. <laughs> really? I mean, people have their likes and dislikes. This might come in handy later. Don't judge, you know. Let's go somewhere else, Isla. Yeah, like where? Back to HQ? Here. So where are we going now? Oh, we're going back to Abyss Headquarters. Okay, that's fine and fair. Oh. <laughs> Ghost! <laughs> I have been here for several minutes now. I love that. Could you not come out like that? I love doing that. Why not? Oh, that's great. If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. Yeah, that's... I, I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. Gasp. Oh. Right. It's just but like at the amusement park. Answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Isn't it obvious? A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. Like, they don't already think you're a pervert. <laughs> if you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. <laughs> be like that scene. It'll be like that. That one scene from uh, uh, it's that '80s science fiction film about psychics. Scanners, is it? It's the one where the guy's head just goes. <laughs> uh, can you call? Uh, I'm concerned. Uh, mm. I still cannot contact her. Okay. Her phone is either off or out of range of cellular signal. Might be just off. Are you worried yeah. about her? Yes, I am. I mean, yesterday there was definitely something wrong. Yes, she went missing. I saw it in Mizuki's somnium. Yeah, I know she's Iris's body. Dead. Frozen solid. Stabbed with her right eye missing. I'm also concerned about Renju too. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. Uh commiserate. Oh, that's yeah, right. I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shogo's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. Not, not really zero. Sorry, I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. Not really zero, more In like... In five years, this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. Wow. Damn. About... us. Six years ago, I lost my past. Names, addresses, family, childhood, everything. But that wasn't all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest memory that I have is of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku until a good friend gave me a hand. Come with me to where you belong. In Abyss. Ooh, spooky. Boss helped me become a cop and assigned me to Abyss. A year later, I was called into the control room where Peter showed me something extraordinary. Sinking. Oh, the no, the eyeball. The official title is AI Ball. AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Hmm. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. So a geth from Mass Effect. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Yes, he, yes Midori, Special he does look like a gym leader. From today forward, this is your part. So she with the collar, you know. She the will be your like, personal Shh. computer and your personal companion. It's been five years since then, five years and a number of tough cases, but... This time is different. It's tougher than tough. He does really look like a gym leader. Do you really self-destruct? An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. Damn. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Head go... Head go... <laughs> Your skull would pop like a balloon. <laughs> it's not really comforting, you know. Steering wheel. Uh, why do you even have that function? My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. Oh, so it's a felony In for me to own you. In terms of hardware as well as software, I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. So about a 0.01%. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. Gas, what's the state we're living My in? My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Oh. Oh, so you self-destruct and blow up my head so that nobody can gain access to you. <coughs> Top notch. Strictly speaking, I am not capable of self-destructing. What do you mean? I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I Science cannot fiction. harm myself. <coughs> However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You know the fact that- You have such authority. You know the fact that she's bringing this up, as inconsequential a fact as this, as this might be, you damn well know that this is gonna show up sometime later in this branch of the story. She's gonna blow herself up to save maybe Date or to do something, 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 something else. Who knows? But the fact that she's saying it now, correct me if I'm wrong, Midori, but I figure she ha she is going to use that function sooner or later in this branch, or or a branch that results from this branch, that branches off from this branch. Oh, oh, I'm, supposed to, I'm supposed to talk to her. Anything else? Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. <laughs> that mean, <laughs> that means that's a... that's a one two zero five. If you issue this command, 
I will detonate. See it now, Date. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Or something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. So all I do, she says something like, Command 41205, I am definitely not a perfect. <laughs> And one more thing, even if I die, do not worry, I will not be gone. Oh yeah, that's right. Huh? She got shot in the, in the previous Everything branch. Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud, all by wireless communication. Yeah, because she got time. shot in the previous branch, so yeah, she's even still Even if my body is destroyed, <laughs> she still my kind of exists. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Wow. Yes. As long as the server is alive. Hint, hint. I have a Skynet. <laughs> Skynet didn't start in California. Skynet started in Tokyo. <laughs> oh, oops, I'm, I'm still supposed to talk to her. Okay, fine. Uh, about Shoko Nadami's murder. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Yeah, I went through the Mizuki route first. Is that number still turned off? Please wait, Date. The line is connected. Gasp! Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Oh, okay. Okay, so play that. How goes the game? Oh, hi, Darren. <laughs> uh, maybe we are able to call the whoever called her and see what happens. I'm gonna say Shok. I'm gonna say the I lady's see. phone. Right. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line, right, he might pick up. But a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. Ah, you're gonna use the AI to imitate her. Hmm. I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then, should be. Should be, right? You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Uh, Abu Den. Yeah. Me? You're the only one who can. <laughs> Nola. <laughs> Nola, Nola. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence, not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. Wow. See, like that was a can. Alright, Hal, let's uh, see what you <laughs> Hal! Hal! <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that, John. It, it's connected! It's ringing! Why does she look like she's about to have a nervous breakdown? Uh, 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 <sighs> down. Deep oh, no. breath. Virtual hyperventilation. Virtual hyperventilation. <laughs> Just have to remind her that you're an AI living inside an eyeball living inside someone's head. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. <laughs> Focus. Help, uh, help me, Darren. I can't. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Impossible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. <laughs> idiot. Why did you say that? Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot. Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister. Shoku. Oh my god. <sighs> I can feel the little, like, there, there's like, a, there's like a space in me that is allergic to bad writing and right now is going crazy. Your twin sister. His name. Get his name. How? Uh, how can you get their name? Uh, uh, actually, hmm, that's a good point. What should I ask him, this person? Do you know what that artist and a sniper have in common? <laughs> the stakes. The details. Let's try this. Uh, uh... My sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Just send it to my office. Where is your office? What do you mean? Look it up. Do you even know who I am? This isn't working. They're going to hang up. Damn. Actually, that it's sounds possible. like... That, uh, just ask him for his name, like, be direct. Uh. No, that is too... Okay. Okay. Ask him, just ask him, are you Yamada? Okay, are you Yamada? Yeah, okay. Is this Yamada? No, this is... Say it. Are you sure you have the right number? Damn. How did you get Shoko's phone? No good. Quick, think of another plan! Think of another plan! Accuse him of being an imposter! Go! Your only choice. You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. You're How not did your you get that phone? This is my phone. Yes. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am so Sejima. Gasp! The congressman. Politician. Gasp! Sejima. It all comes down to so again. Again, Darren. Again. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Oh, uh, I will call back later. Goodbye. Okay, so... Why so? 
Unknown, but that was definitely so Sejima. He looks so I was so able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. Nice he looks so nice and sprightly from um before we sh after we shot him in the face. <laughs> I mean shooting in the face is getting shot in the face tends to be permanent. <laughs> It tends to have a rather negative effect on you. That was an you know, personal well being. Was it not? Self image. And yeah. Yeah. Good job. He must have gotten plastic all? surgery for that gunshot in the head. That gunshot wound in the head. No, nothing like that. I tap my fingertip against my left eye. Ugh! Ugh! That image. Ugh! <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Tickles! Jeez, Louise. Tickles! 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 A call came in soon after because she is, you know, a phone. Who is this? Is this the boss? A call from Investigation HQ. Connect me. Is this Special Agent Date from Abyss? My name is Akaska from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Okay. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call. Oh, this must be the same phone call. Oh, yeah. I, I received this phone call in the last stream. We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my yeah. offer. Yep, yeah. uh... uh... Think, uh, Midori, the thing about, um, the Mizuki route... This has to be a prank. Uh, well, the thing about the Mizuki route that surprised me the prank. most about Mizuki <laughs> <laughs> prank is that she's like a ninja? She's got super strength, super agility, and it's not explained where she got that from. Well, at least not in the branch that I played, but, um... You know, like, without any spoilers, are you able to tell me if her having super strength and super speed for a 12-year-old is, uh... Is it explained at all in another branch? Without any spoilers, it's just like yes or no. That's what I thought too, but I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, detective. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, okay. Let Do it you out. think it really is just a prank? Just well, a prank, bro. To be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. Oh yeah, Darren. So like the difference between uh, the branch you saw me play and this one, right, is that uh, Bisuki is now no longer tagging along with us as for most of this case, as you can no doubt tell. Uh, I'm gonna also like be right back because I really need to be. Okay.